Clearcom Technologies. We have installed a new SIM into our Saab and we are going to go through Tech 2 programming. So at the main screen you're going to hit enter. You're going to go into diagnostics. We're going to select the year. This car is an 06. It happens to be a 93 Sport. And then we're going to go down to all. Okay. Then we're going to choose the last selection, add and remove. Then we are going to go to control modules. Hit enter. And we are adding a sim module. And we are going to add. And now the car is going to check for everything. It wants us to put a key into the ignition. So we'll put a key in. It's checking preconditions. It says turn the key on. So we've turned the key on. It's working on checking the preconditions. It's checking SPS. It's checking for security access, which is going to be TIS security access. It says it's working. It says turn the ignition to the lock position. Turn it to the locked position. Now it says we need security access from TIS to disconnect from the vehicle and go get security access. Alright, we are at TIS and we are getting security access. Uh, if you have TIS to web, the screen will be a little bit different. Uh, but this is TIS 2000, that's what we have. So you go in here and you select Tech 2. Uh, you then select Next. That tells you to please wait. Uh, it's connecting to the Tech 2 for security access. And this process does take a couple of minutes. So be patient. All right, it has loaded the VIN number of our car and it is now trying to, it says connecting to enable us security access. Once again, please wait. Okay, it says security access type 1 enabled. Now we're going to disconnect from, from Saab TIS and go back to the car. All right, Clearcom Technologies, we're back. We have just downloaded security access. We've plugged back into the car. We select enter, diagnostics, select our year, select our car, we're going to go to all, we're going down to add and remove just like we've done before, uh, we're going to go to control modules, we're going down to sim, we're still adding, and once again the car says checking preconditions, it tells us to put the key in, it tells us to turn the ignition on, and it says it's working. It's now checking security access. And it should now it's working again. It'll take it a minute. It says turn the key to locked position. So we turn it to locked, but we don't take it out. Still working. Okay, turn the ignition key to the on position. Okay, it's past security access and now it says it's adding. Uh, it's counting up in percentages. We're at 64%. 
All right, now it's asking for all the specifications of the car. We have a 2006. This is a sedan. Uh, it is an automatic. Uh, it, it has, with rain sensors on this model, uh, it says you have made a selection other than the Tech 2 Auto Suggest. Press yes to continue, and we are going to press yes. Okay, cruise control. It's with cruise control. Uh, it is 433 megahertz. Uh, phone, let's see. I believe this is no phone, so we're going to select that. And if you do make a wrong selection, you can go back and reprogram this. So it's, it's not terribly critical, it's just time consuming if you have to go back and redo something. This says steering wheel switches, this is with uh, steering wheel controls Centronics. Uh, we're going to say without Centronic controls, our market is US. Okay, and then it has us confirm everything that we've done. And I'm going to press OK. And now it's going to go in and configure the SIM module to match all of the settings that we've programmed in here. Okay, it says new SIM is detected in the vehicle. Key programming will follow. Have all of the keys at hand. Uh, let's see, at hand before proceeding. New keys may be needed. Old keys can normally be kept because of a copy of the old key is stored in the ECM. Use new keys in the following. I lost my place. In the following cases, both SIM and ECM, which is what we not we have not done. It says previous attempts to use the old keys has failed. We haven't had that problem yet. And so it says keep and reprogram the old keys, yes or no. We happen to have three of the old keys that belong to this car, so we are going to choose to keep the old keys. So we're going to select yes. Okay, it is now right in the configuration. Uh, it has us waiting 150 seconds. So we're going to pause and we'll come back at the end of the 150 seconds. Okay, we're back with only 10 seconds remaining. And now it says it is writing the configuration to the SIM module. And you'll hear relays kicking on and off. It just did the self-leveling of the car. Uh, just a note, it's very important that the battery is maintained while it's doing this. Uh, if the battery is low during programming, uh, it will cause you some grief. It says turn the ignition key to lock. So we turn it to lock. It says insert any key. So at this point, you take the key out, and then you put the key back in. And then we're going to hit OK. And we'll wait for it to tell us that it likes it. It says one key successfully programmed. Do you wish to program another? We're going to hit Yes. It says remove program key and insert the next key. So we're going to insert key number two. And now we're hitting OK. And the chime tells us it's checking out that key. And it says, two keys successfully programmed. Do you wish to program another? We're going to hit yes. OK. It says, remove the key. And we're going to insert a third key and hit OK. And here it goes. Three keys successfully programmed. Do you wish to program another? We're going to hit no. And we're going to continue on. It says turn the ignition key to the on position. So we're going to turn it on. OK, it says it is now writing the configuration. All right, all the dash lights just went out and flashed back on as it's writing the configuration to the SIM. Okay, steering angle sensor calibration. If you have a low battery, this is typically the place where it's going to fail. 
but we're going to scroll down. It says make sure that the wheels are straight and you're level. We are, so we're going to hit yes to do the calibration. It says insert. It says turn the ignition key to the locked position. So it's writing that configuration. It says remove the key. Place the key in the ignition lock. Turn the ignition key to the on position. It is now writing the configuration. It says it's updating the bus for all of our new sim programming and it's clearing all of the DTCs. We turn the key to the locked position. All right, remove the ignition key. Add and remove ECU has finished. And we are now done programming. You can send the car home with the customer.